Hi, I'm Fred, instructor with CMC. I'm here today to introduce you to the Palisade 2.0, the newest version of our Palisade pack. Made some great improvements into this. First of all, this is a 30 liter pack. This is the little brother to our Whitney pack, which is the bigger pack. This is perfectly sized for a day pack or a 24 hour mission, giving you a lot of storage options. A couple of things that we did right off the bat that you can see is we improved the harness structure of this backpack so it wears better, a lot more padding. We added a hydration sleeve in the back of the pack that'll fit a two liter hydration bladder that we didn't have before. We added a tarpaulin bottom. The older Palisade pack didn't have that. This allows you to set your gear in the mud, the water, stuff like that, and not have to worry about saturating everything. Great improvement on the pack. You can see there's a lot of molly attachments that we had on the previous pack. We just repositioned these on the Palisade 2.0. This also has integrated stowable waist straps that you can tuck into the back. You may not always want to use waist straps as you're using this as a day pack, but you may want to use it as you hike. So you can pull them out if you need them. If not, they just stick and tuck back into the backpack out of the way. Okay, let's get into some of the features of the Palisade 2.0. We're gonna start from the very front and work our way into the main pack. The front of the pack actually has some molly attachment points with some Velcro so you can add your morale patches or name tapes as, as you need or you can put molly uh, attachments on here for additional storage. As you open up the very first pouch, it opens up. It's not quite an administrative pouch, but it's big enough to hold things that you may need to get to immediately. A pair of gloves, uh, a bandana, a head wipe, something like that. Then you get into the administrative pouch. Big enough to hold rescue guides, uh, right and rain notes, a variety of different pens. There's also a secure pouch in back so you can put car keys or something that you don't want to have to dig around for. There's a small pouch on the front that opens up where you can keep a variety of nutrition bars or other things that you may want to have access to that you don't want floating around. In between the front two pouches and the main pouch, is what we call a shove slot where you can carry webbing. You could put your helmet back there. If you had rain gear, you could place rain gear back there so that you can easily get to it without having to open up your entire pack. To give you an idea of the inside of the Palisade 2.0, I'm going to show you how I load my pack and give you an idea of how many organizational pouches are. So in the back, you have a nice sleeve where you can put a tablet or an iPad or something like that. In the front, you have two different pockets that you can load with a variety of different equipment that you don't want wandering around your pack. Here I'm putting a couple of carabiners, some Prusiks, and some webbing. So it'll be stored nice and neat and not wander around. There's a second pocket on the top that's perfectly sized to fit a clutch. The deep bottom of the Palisade pack allows a harness to be put in. I like to lift mine up a little bit and load it all the way to the bottom to make sure it's stuffed in and it gives it some rigidity. I can load a jacket, cold weather, rain gear, anything like that for my mission. And I still have enough room to place a helmet inside. Compression straps on either side of my Palisade pack allow me to snug this down as necessary. And this is the Palisade 2.0.